Our planet Earth, like all other planets, is spherical in shape. It appears blue in color when seen from space. However, had there not been a small model of this huge planet, it would be impossible for man to locate far off places on it. Two important tools used to study the Earth are globes and maps. The globe. A globe is a small model of the Earth which shows us its different features on a smaller scale. The picture shows you what the Earth looks like. A globe shows the exact location, shapes and gives an idea about relative size of all the land areas as well as water bodies on the Earth. Water bodies The large water bodies called oceans are shown in blue color. There are five oceans on the Earth. The Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. Continents Large extensive masses of land on the Earth are called continents. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Australia and Antarctica are the seven continents on the Earth. Poles The Earth constantly rotates or turns on its axis of rotation. This axis is an imaginary line passing through the earth that points north and south. Look at the picture. The earth has two poles. The northernmost point is the north pole and the southernmost point is the south pole. Hemispheres the imaginary line which divides the earth into two equal halves is called the equator. The area lying above the equator is called the northern hemisphere and the one lying below it is called the southern hemisphere. Important lines on the globe and its structure. It is easier to locate places on the globe because of the horizontal and vertical lines drawn on it. Parallels of Latitude When we look at a globe, we find horizontal lines drawn on it running parallel to the equator. These are called latitudes or parallels of latitudes. Some important features of latitudes. Latitudes are numbered from the equator at 0 degree to 90 degrees north and south. The north pole is at 90 degrees north and the South Pole is at 90 degrees south. The equator is the longest of the parallels. The parallels of latitude move towards the north and south poles from the equator forming smaller and smaller circles. Special Parallels of Latitude 
following are seven special parallels of latitudes on the globe. The equator at 0 degree. Tropic of Cancer at 23 and half degrees north. Tropic of Capricorn at 23 and half degrees south. Arctic Circle at 66 and half degrees north. Antarctic Circle at 66 and half degrees south. North Pole at 90 degrees north. South Pole at 90 degrees south. Meridians of Longitude The vertical lines on the globe which run from north to south are called longitudes or meridians. The prime meridian, the zero degree longitude, divides the earth into two equal vertical hemispheres, the east hemisphere and the west hemisphere. Some important features of longitudes or meridians. Unlike latitudes, these lines are not parallel but meet one another at the poles. All meridians are equal in length. The prime meridian is located at Greenwich near London in England, zero degree. Longitudes to the east of Greenwich are called East Longitudes, E, and those to the west are called West Longitudes, W. Importance of Latitudes and Longitudes Latitudes and longitudes make a criss-cross network on the globe. This is called a grid. These imaginary lines help us to locate a place on the earth both quickly and accurately. For example, locating Jaipur on the globe is not difficult at all. All we have to do is to find out the latitude closest to Jaipur which is 26.92 degrees north and the longitude closest to it which is 75.82 degrees east.